Lanjut. Alright. Okay, we've got a... It's not totally in the store quite yet, but you can sign up. Um, the next generation Cupcade is ready to rock. Um, we have totally redesigned it. It now works with any modern Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 2, 3, 0, whatever. The Pi 3, of course, is the best because it's going to be the fastest. Um, it is the cutest little arcade. Um, it works quite well. Um, I can show it really fast. But yes, yeah, sign up. We're making a bunch. We will have them in stock. Do you very want to soon. hold it up here and then we can get it overhead, or what do you want to do? Well, I don't want it to get unplugged, so I can. I can. I think it might be best if I just sort of show it here. Okay. So hold on. Let me get it to focus in. So yeah, I've got it's it runs um, RetroPie. So it's been a while since I've played RetroPie, but you know I can launch. I think I get the Pac-Man game. Um, but you can run MAME or NES emulation. You can run even SNES, but we don't have a lot of uh, buttons. Um, you can get to the USB port and Ethernet if you want to on the back. It's a fun build. Um, it's all uh, these plastic pieces, and you get little, uh, it's all in yellow, and then you get a um, marquee as well. And you can arrange it so you can have horizontal mode, good for like Nintendo games, or you can flip this around to have vertical mode for MAME games, and then you can have the um, joystick on the left, the right, or in the center. So uh, we've had this kit for a while, but we basically just did a huge redesign of it um, to make it now compatible with the latest Raspberry Pi. It's also easier than ever, and it's less expensive than ever. We've really optimized the build quite a bit. So sign up and pick one up, and uh, this is a really good, we'll definitely have them before the holidays. Uh, this could be a very good holiday gift for someone who likes um, Raspberry Pi projects and wants to make a little arcade. It goes anywhere, it's so cute. Okay. Now it's time for a steel thing. This is a, uh, a steel-tipped PT-1000 sensor. It's with three wires. It's a platinum sensor. These are uh, RTD sensors. They're very high precision, high accuracy sensors, um, much better than a thermistor or a DS18B20. Um, the only thing is that they're more expensive and you have to use a special reader module, which we also have in the store, like the Max 31856, I think. Um, as you can see here, and then you connect up to a microcontroller to read the values off. But if you need something with a like, really good precision, uh, accurate, repeatable temperature sensor, nothing really beats the PT100 or PT1000 um, sensor. So we have those. Um, the readers are the readers are in the store. The decoding modules, and now we have the sensors themselves that have the little piece of platinum inside. So this one is PT1000, and we also have a PT100, which is the more common 100 ohm version. Ah, the PoE hat. So this went through a redesign, and so now we finally have it in the shop. Um, this is from Raspberry Pi Foundation. It's a hat that goes onto the Raspberry Pi 3B+, the very latest one, and only the very latest one because you need to have an extra couple pins in order for this to work that are only brought out on the Pi 3B+. But when plugged into uh, said Pi and you screw down the little screws, um, you have this little bundle of joy here. It looks like this. And it's, uh, you know, that Pi 3, and you got the hat, and it has a, has a little fan to cool it off. And then if you have a PoE router, uh, which I have over there. Well, let me get a little closer here. You're going to do this live. I'm going to do this live to prove okay. you do not need a power cable. What? You can just plug in. Yeah, you just plug in so the this Ethernet. So power over the Ethernet? And so you power. get data as well. So you've got Whoa. power and data only through one cable. Mm -hmm. This is really handy if you're doing a lot of wiring, or maybe you want this to be... Um, in uh, like an installation where you don't want to have it, you know, because e Ethernet cables can go much farther than power cables usually. And also high voltage is 48 volts. And then that 48 volts is switched down to five volts safely. Um, that, so it goes into the Pi. So this can be good if you want something that's like 100 feet away. You can use uh, Cat5 cables and you'll be able to power and do data. Whereas with power plugs, usually the cables are only like three meters long at the most. Um, so this is really good for anybody doing that kind of stuff. And of course, the Ethernet, the Raspberry Pi works great over Ethernet. Um, it has Wi-Fi as well, but you know, nothing really beats wires when you have a, want to have a good, stable connection. So this is the new PoE hat. This is the new updated version, which works even better. They had an earlier version, and they fixed a couple things, and we released it. So this is that we release. Okay, next up. Glowing USB cables. So this photo looks really good, uh, much better than I'll show on um, the overhead just because it's uh, lit nicely in the dark. Um, their cables, we used to have EL wire cables and they didn't work that great and they made like a squeaking noise. These uh, have little LED crystals in them and uh, they look great. They have a couple dozen LED 
elements in them, and uh, they look great at night. You can see them during the day, of course, but uh, really cool for, I don't know, land parties. What do you kids do these days? Anytime you're in the dark and you want uh, yeah. a decorative cable. One good cable. use is if you have a Circuit Playground Express and you're making the things glow and you want a glowy cable. I just thought these were cute, so we picked some up. All, make all the things glow. Okay. okay. Glowing. Mixed up. Next up, we have the US 100 uh, ultrasonic sensor. This looks a lot like the very common HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. It's a little different. On the back, there's a jumper. And that jumper lets you select either like standard, like trigger response mode or UART mode. So this module, not only can you do the thing where you like toggle the pin and then it sends you like a pulse width back, but you can also use it in UART mode. And this is handy if you have a microcontroller that has uh, software serial or UART but you don't necessarily have the ability to do that specific timing stuff, mostly because um, some of my controllers or like some you know, Python or Esperino devices maybe don't have such precision timing capabilities. In that case, use the UART mode. You send a character and it was, replies back with basically the number, and that number is millimeters. And also has a temperature sensor built in, which you can get over the UART mode. So um, here is a little demo. Let me get my Ethernet cord out of the way. Oh, this is a very finicky Ethernet. Um, so yeah, you got it here, and it's updating a lot slower than you can. It, it's quite fast. You can update, update it, I think, maybe um, like 60 times a second or faster, but um, just to make it so that you can um, see the numbers. And then, you know, as I move my hand back and forth, you know, point at the ceiling, it's quite fast and responsive, and then it also gives you the temperature, which is, in this case, 22 degrees centigrade. And this is using the UART mode. But then again, you can always use it um, in the old style, um, HC, uh, SR, HC SR 04 mode. I'm going to show you this module. So on the back, there's a jumper. Remove it, and it's in that uh, standard mode. Uh, apply it, and it's in your mode. Another nice detail, you can run it at 3 volts. So the H HC SR 04 for 5 volt only, a little annoying. These can run at 3 or 5. So they're kind of like an upgrade. No matter what, if you have a 3 volt device, you won't have to deal with resistor dividers here. And then uh, start of the show tonight, besides Yule Data and our community, is FPGA. That's why the code is FPGA. Yay, you were wondering. So the Teeny FPGA BX, um, this is from Teeny FPGA Group. Uh, and they um, are selling these on CrowdSupply. We picked up a bunch. Um, it's an ICE40 FPGA board. It has a USB uh, connector built in. It also has an SPI flash, which I totally forget the size of, but you can look it on the product page. A lot of pins broken out. And the best of all is all the guides. It's not just hardware you're getting. You're getting a lot of tutorials, a lot of information, a big community of people who are really getting excited about the ICE-40. The reason is, is that this is basically the first FPGA, which is powerful enough to do quite a bit um, with. It's, it's not minimal. And you can put a big flash on it. And another thing is it, it has open source tool chain support. So you can... You mean it's not thousands of dollars? It's not thousands of dollars to the tool chain, but more importantly, you can run on Linux, you can run on Mac, you can run on Windows. A lot of tool chains, you know, they were really restricted in that you could only use them with, um, you know, Windows software. And it's like Windows 98, like you're, you're, you hate yourself. Um, so it comes with a card with all the pins. You see power from USB. You get all this um, stuff. Again, it doesn't have analog inputs, for example. It only has digital because it's FPGA, but you know you can connect I2C and SPI devices to this um, if you want to add you know, analog. It does do stuff like PWM really fast because it's an FPGA. And on the back, you can see there's even more pins available. So if you even need more pins, um, check that out. And then here it is. It's, it's very teeny. And, you know, it's not out yet, don't ask, but I know that they were looking at designing a feather as well. So this could be uh, really interesting to see uh, FPGA feather. It's got a little button as well. I think this is probably reset or bootloader mode. And the bootloader's over USB. So again, you don't need anything else. This That's is all cool. you need to get started with FPGAs. Very exciting. It's just like, um, I've seen a lot of more work and development FPGAs since the ICE-40 came out, and this is the board that people are using. What's that, Lanita? Yeah, new, 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 new. 